Yes, there are thousands in our family. Their work is an integral part of what will be the best picture of the year and of every picture of every year. The award that is about to be given then is a tribute to each and every one of them. The best motion picture is... Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us for more of 31 Days of Oscar tonight on TCN. Coming up, Robert Duvall connects us from our previous satire, M.A.S.H., to our next movie, another dramatic satire, a film whose tagline read, prepare yourself for a perfectly outrageous motion picture. And in 1976, the idea of a major television network exploiting the mad rants of a deranged lunatic on the news for a ratings boost was so boldly absurd, it could only be thought of as outrageous satire. Today, that's just a Wednesday night on, I'm not gonna say it, but you know. But screenwriter Patty Chayefsky and director Sidney Lumet were creating much more than satire. They were coming quite close to predicting the future of television news. From 1976, one of the most prophetic films in movie history, Network. The movie follows a fictional, struggling TV network, UBS. The network decides to fire their aging and respected veteran news anchor, Howard Beale, played by Peter Finch, hoping the change will boost ratings. But when Beale is given his notice, he becomes mentally unhinged and turns the network on its head by announcing on live TV that not only has he been fired, but he's going to kill himself. In 1976, Network seemed like something you'd read in a George Orwell novel with its stark depiction of a sinister corporate dystopia. But what makes Network so powerful 40 years later, even a bit terrifying, is that now it doesn't seem so outlandish. No, we don't have TV news anchors threatening to off themselves on live TV, but the airwaves on multiple channels are filled with bloviating talking heads feigning outrage for ratings. Chayefsky and Lumet saw it coming. Network earned Oscars for three of its performers, Faye Dunaway as Best Actress, Beatrice Strait as Best Supporting Actress, and Peter Finch as Best Actor. It also brought Patty Chayefsky his third Best Writing Academy Award. From 1976, also with Oscar-nominated performances from William Holden and Ed Beatty, here's Network. For the role of Howard Beale in Network, Henry Fonda, Glenn Ford, and George C. Scott were all approached, but all three turned it down. Fonda saying simply it was too hysterical. Even William Holden said no and was cast instead as Beale's friend. But actor Peter Finch, a British-born Aussie, was desperate for the part. Director Sidney Lumet was unconvinced. He was worried about Finch's Australian accent. So Finch ended up sending Lumet a recording of himself reading the New York Times. That was enough for Lumet. Finch went on to win a Best Actor Oscar. But during the shoot, Finch's heart was failing. While filming the famous Mad as Hell speech, he became exhausted, had to stop the take. Peter Finch died of a heart attack while touring to promote the film and was posthumously honored with the Oscar for Best Actor. It was the first time an Oscar was awarded posthumously, and it's happened only once since, in 2009, when fellow Australian actor Heath Ledger won the Best Supporting Actor Oscar for The Dark Knight. Coming up, Faye Dunaway connects us to our next film, another groundbreaking movie. This time, she's robbing banks with Warren Beatty. <laughs> 